Hey everybody, uh, so this is a quick overview of Blackboard Collaborate Ultra, or just Blackboard Collaborate for short. Um, <clears throat> I say collaborate, my students seem to be okay with it. It's, you know, I think most students are comfortable with um, FaceTiming or Google Hangouts or things like that with their friends and family. So it's kind of, um, if you can get them over the initial uh, um, hump of getting them to actually participate or try this uh, tool, I think they'll buy in. Um, Collaborate lets you share audio and video. Uh, it has a whiteboard. It uh, allows you to upload images or PowerPoint files or PDFs. Um, you're also able to share a desktop. So if you've got something in particular, let's say for me, um, inevitably in, in a Comp 1 or Comp 2 class, I want to show students at some point how to insert a page break instead of hitting the return or enter button to go down to the next page. That's you know kind of weird, but that's my thing. Um, anyway, so you can use Collaborate to capture how-to stuff uh, for particular tasks in your course. You can use it for virtual office hours. So you could say to students, hey, my office hours have always been 10 to noon, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. During this period, I'll have a Blackboard Collaborate session open. Um, feel free to click the link, and you can join by mobile phone, tablet, or a computer. And we can talk through any issues you have. Uh, for me, the best part about doing office hours like that, particularly if I'm not talking to students about grades, um, is that I can record it and then that can be available for students later. Um, you can also use Collaborate just to do your lecture capture. And that way you don't have to worry about uploading or anything like that. <clears throat> you can open your uh, course room or create a session for that and uh, record yourself uh, with audio or just video, which, whichever you're comfortable with. Um, you can upload your PowerPoints, go through your slides, do demonstrations, and um, that, as you're recording, um, it'll start processing. So if you record for maybe, let's say, 15 or 20 minutes, um, it's going to take roughly about that length of time for that video to be ready for students. Um, I also have used uh, Collaborate. I've created sessions for students to do group work. Um, so you could say, hey, Drew, John, David, Stephanie, and Marie, I've created you a Blackboard Collaborate session. You can use that for your group project to talk through things. Um, in writing classes, I've used Blackboard Collaborate for peer review. So if we had to cancel face-to-face -face class or even in my online class, um, I will create group sessions and say, okay, Drew and Stephanie, get in your group session. You guys figure out a time to meet and you'll be able to add your files, your PDFs, um, look at each other's work and talk through it. Um, which is great because, I mean, you don't want to lose that interaction from uh, our face-to-face -face classes. Uh, I'm sure there's a dozen other uses for this. Um, it's a great tool. It's really easy. For me, um, it's not sending students outside to another program or tool, It's uh, so it's within Blackboard. It's browser-based, so there's no installation. Even Zoom now uh, regularly prompts me to install their tool. So no install, and it's browser-based. Um, and if needed, um, you can ask one of your class or students, or if you have a GA, um, there's a live captioning feature. So as somebody's talking, somebody could type that. Um, the other videos in this kind of collaborate series will kind of work you through the different tools. Uh, but this is just an overview uh, to kind of talk about uses. Um, every time I've ever used this in any course that I've worked on, the hardest part is getting them to try it. So a lot of times I'm there by myself, and, it, and for years it, it always seemed like it was a military student would be the one or two students that actually show up the first couple of times. But if you can get one person in that session with you to just talk, even have fun, tell some jokes, um, encourage them that it's going to be okay, we're going to make it through the semester, then you can talk about that to the rest of the class. Say, hey, man, I had a great conversation with everybody that showed up on Saturday, even if it's just one person. Um, I'm going to record those. They're, I'm going to continue to offer these voluntary sessions, so feel free to join. Um, if the timing's not working out, shoot me an email. Let's talk about it. So there's a tons, ton of different ways we can use Blackboard Collaborate, especially if you have guest speakers. So if you've got somebody that would have come to class or even somebody that you wish could come to class but the transportation or the travel is not reasonable, this might be that opportunity to uh, have them speak to your class. Anyway, um, take a look at the other videos, and if you have questions, just reach out.